Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sorry for the delay. <clears throat> this is day 23. This is a dynamic effort chest and a shoulder workout or training session. <clears throat> I say training session instead of a workout because when you work out, you know, you might want to get your ass kicked or whatever, and you're just kind of going in there with without a plan. I'm, I'm training to become you know better at you know lifting heavy weights and um and you know getting a little bit more ripped up but anyways that's my take on training and working out so you go train you know train your butt off and um and, you know make make progress and keep a keep a record on it anyways first sets were my dynamic effort went up to 232 six sets of three then i went to the incline First set was 135 for 10. That's 185 right there. First uh, eight, and then I went to 225. I haven't done incline barbell in a while. Kind of wanted to see where I was at. I stop at six here. I don't have a spotter. That's why I stopped. But I probably could have pulled, pushed out at least one or two more. I'm thinking eight. Then I went down to 205, and I get a good 10 reps on here. Four. Um. Anyways, so you're just trying to hit the upper part of your chest, um, really working on getting that barbell close to the chest, and then um, pressing up, obviously. Okay, then I went to shoulders, right? Started with uh, push presses. You've seen me do these before. Sets of, uh, I believe, eight. So this is just 135, pretty light. Um, you see that red wrist strap on my um, wrist? It's just because my... my um, Forearms been hurting I me, and it's taking a little bit of the pressure off. And then I superseted these, those with um, ring dips. Um, good for triceps and uh, chest. And on the ring, it's a little more unstable, so it makes you your stabilizing muscles work even harder, which is great. Uh, all right, then I go to 165. Um, notice how I'm driving my knees out instead of forward. Um, trying to really focus on good posture and, and good um, technique so I'm not hurting myself. And as you drive your knees out, um, you're practicing good, um, good, um, good form because your knees aren't tracking forward and you're not putting any uh, stress on those uh, the knee joints. You know, if your knees track forward, you might get a little bit of you know, knee tendonitis, possibly you know, some type of meniscus problems. Um, so drive your knees out, screw your feet into the ground and drive your knees out and you're gonna get more strength also. And it's the better way to move. Um, I think this might be 185. Uh, looks like 185, um, sets of eight. Um, this is just a different view. Just notice how I'm locking out at the top. Um, push presses are good overloading uh, exercises. Um, with that little bit of a dip, you can drive more weight over top of your body than normally, so you get a little bit more uh, work on your shoulders than you normally would. Um, then I go to 225. You guys seen me do 240 for sets of five before. This is, I'm pretty tired, obviously I did chest and um, um, uh, there's already three sets of push presses. So I'm just trying to get three to five I get three good ones, and I think I'd go for fourth, but I don't know if I fully get it. I didn't fully get that one, but you know, it was better than nothing. Then I went to uh, these new exercises I've been doing, um, band resisted uh, shoulder press. I just kind of hook two bands onto a uh, safety rack, safety pin on the rack, and just, you know, try to explode up as best I can. Um, make sure the bands have good tension. So you, you get between, you know, 10 and 15 reps really kind of push yourself. Then I did um, 40 pound lateral raises. It's kind of a tough view, you can't see my body, but use a little bit of a swing because that's still, you're still overloading the muscle and then you kind of resist it a little bit on the way down. So really hitting the lateral head of the um, shoulder. My shoulders are one of my weaker points as far as aesthetics speaking. They're strong as far as strength, but as far as, um, you know, Aesthetics, meaning you know, looks and how ripped they are, strided, whatever. It's it's one of my lagging um, features, I think. And I'm trying to just build those up. I've always had pretty good traps because of the Olympic lifting. 
so I don't really hit traps as much as I should, but Olympic lifting does it for me. And then um, I did these uh, things on the ground. I just call them tees. You just take light weight, and all you're doing is just bringing your, your arms up, and it hits a little bit of the rear delts. And these are hard. I, mean, I, get, I think I get like 15. I mean, trying to just do as many as I can, but they're they're really hard. But, you know, it hits your shoulders. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry for the wait. Uh, day 25 will be coming very soon. Appreciate it. Thanks.